have a special guest for you. He's doing this thing all over the valley. Start clapping right now for Aaron Edwards, y'all. Let's go. What up, what up, what up, what up? You ready for your host, guys? You killing it tonight. Give it up for yourselves for coming out tonight. That shit is dangerous now. Sad white boys are shooting everyone. This is a risk that we all came out tonight. Hey, kudos. These niggas are terrified. Hey, so good shit for coming out. And we got a good crowd tonight. We would be, if the shots rang out, we'd be in the news for like two days, y'all. They pat him down first. Hey, with emotional support dog got shot, we'd be in the news for like a month. We love our dogs out here. I don't know where y'all stand on that whole gun control thing. I'm just fucking around. <laughs> Regardless of where you stand, I think we can all agree on this. If somebody walked into like a dog shelter and shot like 12 dogs, we start a conversation. A conversation will be had. That shit would be like our September 11th. That shit would be on the news for so long. We name high schools after those dogs. There'd be like 20 Baxter High Schools. <laughs> yeah, fuck Baxter. We don't even remember the person that got shot at that place. <laughs> oh man. We love our dogs though. It's all good. Yeah. Like a lot. Yeah. <sighs> Y'all having fun though? Yeah. Living that sweet capitalism? I just turned 30 this year. Yeah, no, no. I survived my 20s though, holy shit. Your 20s is risky. Your whole entire 20s is like when you got a baby and they got that soft spot on their head. Like your entire 20s is 10 years and a half. Just a soft spot on your head the whole time. Now that I'm 30, like I just see 20 year olds and I just wanna walk behind them like, you got it? You got it? You got this? It's like the time you can just destroy your entire life in 10 years and not make that shit up. It's like when you got all F's for three quarters and you're trying to make that shit up for the last one and you in fifth grade again. Ain't got nothing to do with me. That's just the story. But yeah, 30s is fun. I mean, it's all right. Fun is really strong. Laser. 30s is risky. They don't tell you about a lot of stuff. It's wild. Like, they don't tell you about the body changes that you go through. That shit happens immediately. Yes, it does. Like, goddamn. On your birthday. Like, I used to be able to just house a whole thing of Doritos, a gallon of milk, and like a full thing of Oreos and run a 5K the next day. Now if I have like a tablespoon of cheese, I'm in urgent care. Like, cut me out, it's over. Bury me here, it's over for me. Don't come back. Yeah, it's terrifying. I have like the, a weird thought that I never thought I would have, like constantly. Because my body's failing me. I'm about to like really fuck with y'all right now. All right, so like sometimes I'll be at like a light and then this thought will pop in my head. You've probably been here before, just wait for it. And you'll just be minding your business and then all of a sudden I'll think, Aaron, can you make it home? Are you about to shit at this QT over here? That shit comes out of nowhere, dog. In there, it's not just me. It's not just me. Men, 30s, men 
my 30s in 2018 as well, though. Like, that shit had to be mad different, like, in the 60s. Could you imagine being in your 30s in the 60s? They had to deal with, like, a war that they didn't want to be in. They had to deal with an opioid crisis. They had to deal with fucking overt racism. Could you imagine all of those things? Could you imagine all of those things that are still happening right now? It is so hard to imagine all of those things that are still happening. That is all my time though. You guys have a good night.